and welcome back. Body image is something that affects many men and women around the world. Why is it so powerful and how can we help someone who is struggling with their own body image? Joining us via Skype with some advice is certified health coach and founder of Rebel University, Katie Humphrey. Hi Katie, Hi. how are you? I am doing well, thanks for having me. Oh, thanks for being here. Listen, we got a lot to talk about, so let's get right to it, okay? So the first one, what causes most body image in people? You know, Eduardo, that's such a great question. Think about when you were growing up. Most children don't really think about their bodies in terms of, oh, I don't have the right body. I don't look like everybody else. Most young children are really not self-aware. They think it's okay to be different if they even notice those differences. Mm -hmm. And then something happens where we become really aware of our bodies and we realize we don't look like everybody else. We're not like everybody else. And society, especially through media and sometimes our peers, tells us that that's not okay, that we have to have the certain type of body that we have to be a certain, you know, be a certain level of attractiveness to feel good about who we are. Mm -hmm. So I think it really starts when we're younger and we carry that into adulthood, thinking that on some deeper level, we can't be happy with who we are until we look a certain way or are a certain way. And it affects millions of people around the world because they're never going to look the way that society tells us that we have to, to be accepted. So why, why does it matter when someone struggles with their body image? Well, when you think about it, body image may not seem like a big deal. And body image is simply how you feel about your body and how you look. But it really is because most of the uh, people that I work with and in my community tell me that when they don't like who they are or don't like their body and don't really approve themselves, they don't feel like they can have the relationships that they want. They don't pursue the careers that they want. They don't do so many of the things with their life that deep down they really desire because they feel held, they feel held back by their bodies. And you know, Irado, think about it, you know this. A lot of times people think they have to be in perfect shape mm -hmm. or they have to look the way that they've always wanted to look before they can do what they really want to do with their lives. And that's absolutely right. not true. You can change the way you feel about yourself before you actually look different. Okay, well, so what can be done to change the way we look at our bodies then? Well, the first thing is that a lot of people, you know, the wrong thing to do is to simply just approach it from the outside. A lot of people right. simply try to change immediately what they eat or how they exercise. Mm -hmm. And while that's a good thing, it's also just addressing the effect. You know, we eat poorly and we don't exercise and take care of ourselves and make time for ourselves, usually because we don't value ourselves a lot, enough. We don't make ourselves a priority. Right. So the right. best way to get started, even if you're going to eat right and exercise, is to start by making a decision that you're only going to think about and speak positive things about yourself. Stop talking negatively. Stop right. telling everybody how disgusting you are or how fat or how dumb or how idiotic. We say these things and think them, Eraldo, all the time, all day long. Right. So the first thing is to catch yourself speaking that and make a decision that you're not gonna speak negatively about yourself to yourself or to anybody else. And watch how that starts to change how you feel about who you are. And then I'd like to invite people to actively start speaking positive things about themselves. Say kind things to yourself. Say things that you would say to somebody that you love. And right. if you make it a practice and if you're intentional about it, because negatively, you know, negativity happens automatically, then you'll start feeling better and you'll, without even realizing it, start making better choices about what you put into your body, how you take care of yourself, and the confidence and energy that you have to do amazing things with your life. So what, what benefit would this have on someone's life then? You know, Eraldo, I've seen so many people who start to feel better about who they are, they actually do start to lose the weight that they want. They start to feel comfortable in their own skin they get jobs that they never thought they could get. They get promotions. They enter to relationships, whether romantic or social, that they weren't comfortable entering into before. Um, they just take better care of themselves. They're happier all around. And I see a lot of people do crazy, amazing things with their life that they never thought they'd do before. Write books, travel around the world, whatever it may be. You don't have to wait until you look perfect to live your life. You can simply start feeling better about yourself now and watch about watch the impact that that has on your actual body and then on your life. Okay. So what, what is one specific strategy that you would recommend? 
Well, I, I'm actually going to challenge our viewers here today, Your Honor. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Sure. Go right ahead. <laughs> Simple challenge, but it's not easy. For the next 24 hours, mm -hmm. do not speak one negative thing about yourself. If you catch yourself thinking or speaking something that is negative, stop immediately. And if you're bold enough, mm -hmm. say something positive about yourself. Okay. You will actually be really aware of how often you're doing that throughout the day. So that would be my challenge, just 24 hours. 24 hours, you, okay. That's it, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Is there a, like a specific age group that, you know, that we're like really have body issues with? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the biggest age group, um, well, you know, I believe both men and women have issues with body image. I think that a lot of women can be more verbal about it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if you're a parent, start talking to your kids about valuing and respecting their own bodies and right. being okay with the fact that they're different. And you as an adult, especially if you have children, start setting that example. Make right. yourself a priority. Start taking care of yourself. Because, you know, Eraldo, I think that will impact a younger generation and especially, you know, as women start to do that and as men start to, that will also impact the people around them. Right. The more comfortable you are in your own skin, you're really inviting other people to be as well. Okay. Uh, we hear a lot about talking about millennials these days. Can you share something about that, Narelle? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. You know, my biggest message is that, especially to young millennials, especially the young uh, females, right. is to respect your body. You know, you don't have to look like everybody else. And the more you start with your mind, feeling secure with who you are, valuing mm -hmm. and respecting yourself and saying encouraging things to yourself, don't wait for other people to make you feel good about who you are. Start actively and intentionally telling yourself that you're more than enough, that you can be, you can respect yourself, that you are likable, that you are good, you know, great how you are now. And other people will start accepting you and the ones that don't, you really won't care about. And that way you'll actually want to be taking care of yourself and be healthy from a positive point of view, rather than doing it because you think that's going to get other people to like you or accept you or approve of you. You can start doing that yourself. Right, so I know that the, the TV and the media is playing a big role on this. Tell me a little bit about the effects that they can have uh, on someone with a body image issue. You know, Geraldo, the more that we see on TV that there are certain uh, men or women that look a certain way, then we believe that we have to look that way. And if we don't, we start to feel badly about ourselves. The truth is that when you start mentally making that decision, like we've been talking about, right. to say positive and encouraging things to yourself, and then you start taking care of yourself, you'll actually like who you are. And when you see other attractive people or people on TV who may be um, from society's point of view, maybe you look better than you, right. you'll be happy for them. Right. And people right. who don't, you you know, you'll just send love to everybody. It's really interesting when you like who you are, mm -hmm. you won't mind the way that uh, the media promotes, you know, a certain way that we have to look. You just won't care as much about it and you'll encourage other people to simply like who they are as they are now. Okay, and who's, who's a good role model out there? I know you have somebody out there, so share with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I have a lot. Um, uh, one in particular, I was reading an interview about her recently is um, actress Kate Winslet. I'm mm -hmm. a really big fan of hers. And she's always said, look, I've always had curves. I've always liked my curves. Right. And even the ones who are more curvy or less curvy, I just love the ones who are comfortable in their own skin. They don't feel like they have to conform, um, especially in Hollywood, because they think they'll get better or different roles if they look, in a, you know, look a certain way mm -hmm. that isn't natural for their body. So those are role models of mine. And, um, you know, I really just love the men and women out there who are setting a positive example for other people. And it's not even about your body, taking your, um, really your mind off of yourself and focusing on what you're doing in the world and how you're contributing. I especially think if more younger people and the millennials, we just focused on how we're helping other people and felt positively about ourselves and others, we wouldn't even be worried about our bodies. Right. We'd be in total acceptance and we'd be sort of making a bigger difference in the world. Well, good. Well, thank, that's all the time we have, Katie. Thank you very much for joining us. Have a great time, and I'll, I'll see you soon, all right? Thank you. You're welcome. And still to come, violence against women continues to rise at an alarming rate. Ahead, we will talk with Dr. Charles Musburger as to why violence against women has become an epidemic of global proportions.